You hard with a, such a small field of professionals. Um, you spend a lot of your day chasing. How was it? Are you alone a lot of the time? I was alone 99% uh, of the time, I would say. Um, but you know what? It kept it fair. Luke was alone. I was alone. Um, you know, I, I uh, other races where you have big packs forming. Um, I don't think it's as fair. And today, this course is a strong man's course, especially with the wind and the hills. Um, and so Luke raced off the front. Uh, alone, um, so I got to give give him credit. So, um, but it, it kept it as a completely fair race. What do you take away from this race, having you know been in that in that uh, situation? Well, I mean, uh, at a personal level, I was what I was looking to get out of this race was to have a, a good swim for me and a good run, and and I accomplished both of those. Um, I didn't have the bike I was hoping to have. Um, but you know, there's Iron Man. Uh, I, I saw quotes from uh, Jason Shortis uh, before the race where he said, "Iron Man's like a, a jigsaw puzzle. So you're always trying to put together that that perfect race." So I'm extremely happy with the result. But I walk away and say, "Okay, I, I need a I need a good four or five weeks working on my bike." And and uh, but that's what we have the whole season for. So you keep tweaking things and keep working on things. But I was happy with my swim today. Um, I've been working hard on it all winter and. And uh, once uh, my legs loosened up about uh, uh, six, seven K into the run, I was really happy with how I ran. So, as a first-time racer here in Australia, what were your thoughts on the course and then and and about the venue? Uh, I mean, this is I, I think this is my 23rd Ironman, um, and this is uh, quite possibly the best venue around. Um, it's just spectacular how uh, the town comes out, supports it. I was so surprised about the amount of uh, crowd coverage on the run. It, it really kept you motivated because there was never a time where you didn't have someone cheering for you. And everyone was so supportive uh, throughout the entire run course. I thought the swim was a fun course in, in the river, um, swimming between the sailboats and, and the bike. I, I'll be honest, I was expecting a little bit easier bike course. And, uh, Halfway through, I was really hurting and saying, "I think I should have trained on some hills some more." But you know, that's uh, um, it was a, it's a, it, I would say this is a, a strong man's course, and and I always I always like that, and I and I always respect guys who go go well on tough tough courses like that. It's a P1000, so you come away with some points, but then in comparison, obviously not a lot for you. Is that the is a concern, or are you not aiming for Kona? Is it more for you just to experience what's out here as a former Detroit Red Wings wannabe? <laughs> exactly. Um, uh, actually, the uh, the owner of my uh, title sponsor, Little Caesars Pizza, is the owner of the Detroit Red Wings. So I have a special connection with the with the Detroit Red Wings, uh, and growing up as a hockey player. Uh, uh, but uh, you know the you know the WTC system of points. Um, you've got a couple choices. If you want to go to Kona, you need to go after points. If Kona is not in your goals, then you have some flexibility to pick races that you want to go to, races that may suit you. And, and so that's kind of my goal this season, and go to races where um, that, that suit my strengths and uh, try to get some results.